everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a story that I wrote called Timothy's Galoshes. In the forest, by a little pond, lived a little frog named Timothy. Timothy was a happy frog, and ever since he was a little tadpole, Timothy loved the rain. Every time it rained, Timothy would race outside and hop, leap, and jump in the droplets, singing and laughing and pouncing. But after Timothy came home from playing in the rain, he would leave wet, muddy, web footprints all over the floor. So, Timothy's mother gave Timothy a special surprise. It was a black box with white polka dots all over it. Can you guess what was inside? Red galoshes! Galoshes are like boots, but they're rubber, so no water or mud could cover Timothy's frog feet. One afternoon, Timothy was outside hopping and leaping and jumping in the rain. He was having such a good time, but the spring shower ended quickly. Timothy decided to take off his red galoshes and go for a swim in the pond. Timothy swam and he splashed. He sat on a lily pad and munched on some flies. When he had had his fill, he swam back to the edge of the pond. And do you know what? His red galoshes were gone. Timothy felt sad. He loved his red galoshes, a very special surprise from his mother. Timothy hopped around here and there, looking for his red galoshes. He leapt over the rushes and cattails to Harold the duck's nest. Harold was getting ready for a swim with his mother and other ducklings in the pond. Harold, have you seen my red galoshes? Timothy asked hopefully. Nope, called Harold as he waddled into the pond. Come swimming with us, Timothy, he called. I can't, Timothy said sadly. I have to find my galoshes. Just then, Timothy had another idea. He hopped over to the big weeping willow tree at the other side of the pond. There, basking in the sun, was his friend, Sammy the turtle. Sammy, have you seen my red galoshes? Timothy asked hopefully. Sorry, Timothy. I haven't seen them, replied Sammy slowly. He lazily got to his turtle feet. I'm going earthworm hunting, said Sammy. Do you want to come? Timothy shook his head. Sorry, Sammy, I have to find my red galoshes. Timothy felt very sad. He turned and hopped home, feeling very unhappy. When Timothy reached home, his mother was waiting for him. Timothy, I have a very special surprise for you, she said. She handed him a black box with white polka dots on it. And can you guess what was inside? A new pair of galoshes! And they were yellow! Yellow is Timothy's favorite color. Timothy's mother had given his a little bit too tight galoshes to his cousin Frankie and given Timothy brand new yellow ones. Timothy was very happy. He kissed his mother and sat on the corner of the log. He laughed and said to his mother, I just can't wait for it to rain. This story takes place in the spring, and there were three animal characters in the story. Do you remember what they were? First, we had Timothy the frog. Did you know that frogs hibernate during winter? Their bodies go to sleep, and they produce antifreeze to keep from freezing solid. When spring arrives, frogs wake up and start eating again. Isn't that cool? Next, we had Harold the duck. Ducks lay their eggs through spring and summer. They spend a whole month sitting on their eggs to keep them warm until they hatch. They stay with the mother for another month before they're actually ready to be on their own. Last, we had Sammy the turtle. Turtles also go to sleep during the winter, but it's not called hibernation. They brewmate. This means they sleep for the winter but they don't have to eat a lot before. Turtles dig down in the mud, the colder it is, the deeper they go, to keep warm during the winter. 
Do you like to splash in the spring puddles? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Ona.